This video will show you the installation steps of the S6GC3P2536K inverter. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. The inverter is heavy. Please pay attention to personnel safety during handling and installation. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for easy ventilation and heat. This when the inverter is running. There may be risks of high temperature and high voltage. Please install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. SIPA, TIM, and avoid direct sunlight. Install the mounting bracket. Adequate space should be reserved around the installation location of the inverter. Using a level to ensure the mounting bracket is level on the wall. Be sure the arrow on the bracket is pointing up. Mark the penetration points with a pen or pencil. Hit about 60 millimeters deep with a 10 millimeters drill bit at the marked point. Insert the expansion bolts into the four holes. Align to the exposed bolts with the mounting bracket in the correct orientation. Secure the back plate onto the wall using the provided washers and nuts. Then tighten the bolts. Fix each of the four bolts in the same way. Mount the inverter. Raise the inverter slightly above the mounting bracket. Align the inverter hooks with the hooks on the mounting plate and slowly lower the inverter until the hooks on both sides interlock with each other. Install the hex set screws included in the accessory pack into the holes on each side. Grounding conductor connection. Connect grounding conductors to the ground bar inside of the inverter wire box using a Phillips screwdriver. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Solace demonstration video for how to make DC connection cable. When the PV array is exposed to the sun, the DC conductor's wire will appear high voltage. Do not touch the DC wire. Before connecting the PV strings to the inverter, please ensure that the VOC and ISC of the PV strings will not exceed the limitations of the inverter once the array is connected. Any PV modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. This ensures the system will operate at maximum efficiency. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. IC side connection. Before connecting AC cables, please remove the terminal protective cover at the bottom of inverter. Thread the AC cable into the AC terminal box. Unscrew the screws on the AC terminal. Connect five cables correctly. Tighten the four screws of the AC connection end cover. Tighten the wire buckle nut. Communication connection. If you choose a Solus data logger, please connect it to the COM port at the bottom of the inverter. Power on debugging. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can lightly pull the cable to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the AC circuit breaker. Close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up 